so friends thank you so much for giving me a such a overwhelming response to my youtube channel as well as my website so again my request all of you to please follow my instagram as well as facebook account of my website so that two winners i'll be choosing through a lottery they will be given a free uh, course study right two people two gentlemen or two ladies shall be given a chance to have a course free of cost if you subscribe to my uh, instagram which is available in the youtube link page also and if you tag yourself into that so i'll be giving you uh, two uh, people a uh, free course on that right so once again thank you all for giving me such overwhelming and tremendous res response to my youtube channels uh, please share it with your colleagues and friends so that they are also benefited through this uh, endeavor of mine so again a very warm welcome to this new year 2022 hope all your dreams come true so do share it with your friends and colleagues so that they can also benefit it again i'm thankful from bottom of my heart for giving me such an overwhelming response to my website as well as my youtube channels so it has been a successful journey till now it has been a tremendous start and uh, very soon i shall be launching a platinum finical module on my website wherein you can see these videos on almost all the topics that you cover in the branches so that will have guarantees loans routine and various inquiry menus shall be available so it's a platinum finical module that you should be looking in by february i shall be launching it on my website wherein you will be benefiting a lot so that's for that now today we shall discuss about check truncation system i hope you all know that earlier physical checks were sent for clearing houses for collections in a scheduled manner and they were handed over to respective banks representative and we used to collect our own checks and come back to the branches for inward clearing while when we went to the clearing house we had outward checks i hope you know the difference between outward checks and inward checks outward checks are those checks given by various other customers of different banks other banks to our customer so that goes into outward cl uh, clearing and that is collected from there the balance remains in the float and those checks issued by our customers comes uh, come into inward clearing wherein we verify the, our customer signatures and see the balance and clear them or reject it as the case may be so in 2007 rbi thought of this to start this process of check truncation system wherein only electronic image of the check is sent to the drawee bank not the physical instrument because sending the physical instrument was taking a lot of time so uh, generally a uh, three days were being taken by the system to get checks cleared in the clearing system earlier in the physical form so customer was getting money in the on the third day after after the counter returning time was over by 11 am of the third day if the check was deposited well in time in the two days back so in this check truncation system electronic image of the check is sent to the drawee bank so there are certain features and facets of this check truncation system we shall discuss in this uh, uh in this video wherein i'll be explaining a lot of concepts about features about cts the truncation means it is the check is sent in a shredded form so that even if someone breaches the data he cannot read what the amount account number is what the amount of the check is what are the signatures so it is a full proof system right it is equally safe and from 1st october 2021 rbi has made it 100% compliant right so let's see further let's move down and i hope you'll learn a lot through this uh, video of mine about check truncation system so it is difficult uh, different from the physical form of clearing check
So in this session, in this video, we shall learn about what is check truncation system is, why we need CTS, salient features of CTS checks, concept of CTS, CTS system overflow, how CTS works and benefits to the customers and the banks. So let's move ahead and see what are the features, why do we, what is the CTS, right? So check truncation system is a system of check clearing and settlement between banks based on electronic data and image of both without physical exchange of instruments. The system is designed to enable banks to handle more checks electronically, which we, we should make checks processing faster and more efficient. Here we convert the physical check into a substitute electronic form for transmission to the dry bank or the payee bank. The process reduces, eliminates the physical movement of checks and reduces the TAT and cost of processing and check clearing system. So why we need check truncation system? The bank's customers would get their checks realized faster as the time that check has been deposited in the branch plus zero clearing days and T plus one for intercity clearing is possible in CTS. So customer would be able to withdraw within immediately if the check belongs to the same place. Otherwise, next day clearing means that within 24 hours he'll be able to withdraw checks of outside, outside the local branch. The STP process, a straight through process and automated payments processing are enabled by CTS. Faster realization is accompanied by both a reduction in cost for the customers and the banks. It is also possible for banks to offer innovative products and services based on CTS. The common security features in CTS checks are paper should be image friendly, UV dull that is not glow under ultraviolet light, sensitive to acids, alkalis and solvents. A standard watermark with the words CTS2010 when the CTS was launched exactly in the ba banking system, it should be mentioned on the check. So you must be seeing your check, you just look out a check and see that it will be written CTS2010. And there is a wind, wide pentograph, right, at the rate print, print stage, so that is a wide pentograph. It shows that the word wide on forgeries made using photocopies and scanned colored images. So people cannot copy a void pentograph, right? So this is how we ensure that checks, duplicate checks or, or you can say, it, uh, uh, I mean, wrongly deciphered checks are not presented in the clearing, right? So like if someone has printed a forged check, right? That is the issue. And there should be a bank's logo printed with the invisible ink, ultraviolet link. The bank logo is printed with invisible ink, mandate for color and uh, background printing of account numbers. So bank logo is printed with invisible ink, ultraviolet. You can see here, you can't see with the naked eyes. Then we have this void pentograph, right? So no one can copy this void pentograph. This is here on the extreme left hand side of the check. You can see here. This is called void pentograph. So no one can copy this. Then we have check printers detail when the date of printing, who printed this, who was the vendor, right? So it is all written here. Then we have this rupee symbol, INR symbol, right? R and there is a slash on it. Signature space indicator. There is always a space for a customer to sign on this CTS 2010 check. Now all checks have to be complied with CTS 2010. So what is the conceptual diagram when a check truncation system is done, right? The presenting bank 
sends the image to service branch bank image service bureau from there it goes to clearing processing center then it goes to the service branch that is the drawee bank then there is a drawee bank right and return flow when it is cleared by the drawee bank it comes back to the service branch that is banks image service bureau and after that it goes to the common warehouse where it is stored for at least 10 years as per it act so how is the system process flow right you can see here check truncation system process flow so presenting bank outward check micer is sent to the bank from there it goes to the pay bank that goes to the clearing house earlier it used to go to the clearing house now check ika beta data is sent to the common warehouse physical check are archived here right this is how it works then pay banks returns to the clearing house and clearing house and is to the representing bank that is the collecting bank this is how the image works here some important points of check truncation system is image of the payment instrument is captured along with micer data simultaneously clearing process completed based on electronic data and image of the check settlement will be generated on the basis of current micer code line data images will be preserved for 8 years so as per it act it should be images should be preserved for 8 years so in case someone wants a copy for any dispute any presentation in the court it should be available for 8 years at least a centralized agency per clearing location will act as an image warehouse for the bank public key infrastructure will be deployed to protect image and data flow over the network security feature that is a security feature entire check volume in the country is consolidated into three grids so we have three grids under this new delhi chennai and mumbai each grid provides the processing and clearing services to all the banks under its respective jurisdiction banks and branches and customer based on small remote locations falling under jurisdiction of a grid would be benefited irrespective of whether there exists a present a formal arrangement for check clearing or otherwise so it will be treated as a payable at par or local clearing so new delhi grid you can see ncr delhi haryana punjab uttar pradesh uttarakhand bihar jharkhand rajasthan and union territory of chandigarh Mumbai grid Maharashtra Goa Gujarat Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh Chennai grid Andhra Pradesh Telangana Karnataka Kerala Tamil Nadu Odisha West Bengal Assam and Puducherry So we have these three grids in check truncation system Benefits of CTS from customers perspective shorter clearing cycle superior verification and reconciliation process no geographical restrictions as to jurisdiction operational efficiency for banks and customers alike reduction in operational risk and risk associated with paper clearing so someone may have forged the check after it has been presented in the clearing so just to uh, prevent that cts would help the bank and the customer in getting a check right no collection charges for collection of checks drawn on a bank located within the grid so there won't be any outstation charges now benefits of cts from bankers perspective improved handling of the post dated checks deposited by the customer as the image can be scanned and stored and the system can automatically process the scanned images due to due date so we can also store the data of the post dated checks also the post dated checks can also be stored the images can be stored and they can be presented on the date of which this check belongs to future date improved business intelligence system can be put in place introduction of new payment system products like e checks better fund management liquidity would be available to the customer and float would be available to the bank 
reduction in cost, better management of space and manpower, improved regulatory compliance, and improved MIS, which will facilitate better decision making. So finally, we learned about CTS, why we need a CTS. There are three grids, right? What are the benefits to the customer? What are the benefits to the banks? So the more turnover of the funds are faster, the better it will result in better GDP growth as well as better, you can say, profit for the customers, those who are doing businesses. As more liquidity will be available as a working capital fund, their shortfall in the cash flows. So I hope this was slightly different from Finical because I'll be covering a lot of topics even besides Finical. So I think this would be of use to all of you, right? So make the best of your use of it. Again, once again, I would like to request all of you to please uh, like my Instagram page. And if those who tag my Instagram page along with their own profile on the Instagram I'll and please send the information to me that I have tagged myself in with this your page either through WhatsApp or through mail. I'll be selecting two people in 15 days to get a course free of cost just to encourage all of you and also like my Facebook page. And do subscribe, share with your friends and colleagues so that everyone can be benefited and so that you can have a better professional life and better earning propositions in future you can fulfill all your dreams so again once again happy new year wish you all your dreams come true thanks again for overwhelming response thank you